Hello, welcome to Home Cooking with Song Jit. Today I'm going to cook crispy pork cracker. So I have about 1.2 kg of pig skin. This is pure skin only. I have washed with salt and cleaned it everything nicely. So, and we're going to make a very nice crispy pork cracker. Just the skin, no need to marinate anything. We're going to boil it. I prepared a hot boiling water here. No need to wait for the water to boil or anything. Just put it in. We're going to boil until the skin becomes soft. It will take around 30 to 45 minutes. So I'm going to cover the lid and let it boil. One more minute to go. We're going to check on the skin. It should be very soft by now. Look at that. When you can hold it and poke through with the fork like this, means it should be okay now. All the skin is nice and soft. So I'm going to remove it. Take each of this skin and put it in the strainer. Let it drain out the water and let it cool down first. Because we cannot cut it now, it's too hot. The skin is nice and cool. After we boil the skin, right, we need to remove all this fat that is still um, remain in the skin. So we're going to cut it. We must not leave any fat that is still remain at the, in the skin. So something like this, we need to take it out. And this, this part, I'm going to slice it out like that. After we have removed all the fats from the skin, now we're going to cut it into long thin slices. You can cut according to your preference, how big or how thin you want to have the pork cracker. All right, all these are the skin that I have cut. We need to dry this uh, skin in the sun for a couple of days. If the sun is very strong, maybe just one or two days, it should be okay. But if the sun is not very strong, you can put it up to three days. I'm sorry, sorry. All right, we need to dry this one in the sun. This is the top skin that we dry in the sun. Just once in a while, just come and like turn it like this. After I have dried it in the sun for three days, supposed to be two days, but the sun is not strong, so it's three day dry in the sun. And this is what we are looking for. The pork skin is really, really hard. becomes so hard, cannot even break it. See? Every single piece has to be really hard. If it's like this, means it's really completely dry. But it looks a bit oily because when the skin is in the sun, right? So it releases the, it release the, the oil. So every single piece is really hard. Look at that. I cannot even break it. So I'm going to put everything inside the pan so I'm going to pour in the oil and we need to put a lot of oil and make sure that every single piece of the pork skin submerged in the oil and we're gonna switch on the heat and Bring it to boil. 
all right when the oil started to boil and then some of the pork skin is already cracking up like that now we are going to switch off the heat leave it to completely cool down best to leave it overnight all right this is the pork skin that we have soak it in the oil overnight and now it's ready to fry okay but this is a lot to prepare this much of the pork skin you can keep it to consume later because this one piece of the pork skin like this it can expand so big when we cook it so i'm going to keep some of this and just cook just a little bit to keep the pork skin for cooking later we're going to keep it in the container like this so i'm going to just take this and put it in the container how we keep it just like how we soak it in the pan overnight like you know the pork skin pieces you need to be submerged in the oil cover it and you, you can either put it in the fridge or you can put it leave it outside it's okay you can keep it for a long time all right and then for this pork skin here we're going to fry it So we're going to put a little bit at a time, just few pieces. At this time, when it comes out from the hot oil, you can sprinkle some salt just to give it a little bit of salty taste, it will be nice. See, just a few pieces, it can get so much. So, I'm going to continue to fry all of the balance. All right, that's how we cook the crispy pork skin. It's quite a long process, but it's really worth it. In Thailand, it's very common. People make it to eat with som tam or nam prik or spicy chili sambal or something like that. And for today, I'm going to have it with the spicy chili dip that I made earlier. Whenever you want to eat this crispy pork skin, must always have a glass of water beside you you might need it sometimes it can be very dry all right so let's try it you can see very crispy look at that the skin crack up maximum can you hear that sound mm. it's so crispy so good This one can eat with dip in the chili like that. This is out of the world. Mm. So good. The more spicy it is, the better it tastes. Wow. Mm. Mm, so good then you must always drink water 
it's really good, very delicious, and don't forget the glass of water. This is best to cook just a bit, just enough for the meal. But if you have extra, you can keep it in the airtight container, or else it will lose its crispiness. So today I'm just gonna keep here some airtight container like that. This can keep for about a couple of days. 